to the Negro Beach. <laughs> Love the sand. The sand is like turp, you know? Just when you walk in the sand, the sand takes the shape of your foot. It's healthy for you. It relax the nerves and the whole organs, you know? It's good and healthy for you. Where Thank you. you. Go on, we're all the people. Love and respect Jamaica. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Top Ranking Club. Today's adventure takes us on a walk along the stunning seven-mile stretch of paradise in the Creole on Jamaica's western coast. This is no ordinary stroll in the sand and yes, we are doing it barefoot. And here you have it guys. Um, we're gonna start our walk, the Creole beach walk. We're gonna probably start from this point which is the Koyaba, just behind me, Koyaba uh, Resort, where we are staying. Um, oh guys, you know me, I love it. I was just like, my face is like smiling, <laughs> like a banana. Uh, look, there's a boat approaching, let me show you that. That's Negril vibe. vibes so right here. There you go. Love it, love it, love it. So just so you know, we're going to walk all the way that way. And remember, this is a seven mile beach. Touch of Caribbean Sea, Negro. Here it is, here it is. Oh, this is my favorite thing to do. Favorite thing to do. All right, so we started at Koyamba just there. And here we're going through Legends, Jamaica, Tambu Resort, exactly. So far, I've learned that Negril is known as the capital of casual, being laid back, easygoing and chilled, but also for the vibrant bars and restaurants, which I will point out as much as I can during our walk. As we stepped in onto the soft powdery sand and started our walk the first thing that i picked up on was the warm atmosphere and of course the sound of reggae beats in the distance there was a fresh breeze in the air and the water was unbelievably clear and honestly i didn't expect to love it so much the Seven Mile Beach has been voted one of the top 10 beaches in the world and it's the longest stretch of white sand beach in Jamaica. But I need to mention that this is not the only top ranking attraction in the grill. Rick's Cafe, which is just around the corner, has been voted the world's best beach bar. And if you would like to find out more about Rick's, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos dedicated to the cliffy side of Negro. Can you hear the sound of the waves crashing? So peaceful. And the color of the water, wow, just wow. Yeah, no kidding, paradise on earth. Yes, I wasn't sure about the grill, obviously. I've been here 15 years ago, but we only came, we literally just passed through. Um, we, we went into the into the sea like really late it was already quite dark so I, I can't even remember properly um, I remember it being nice but that's about it now 15 years later I'm here in the daytime um, looking at its full glory <laughs> and I must I must say it's I mean you can see right Guys, alongside Seven Mile Beach, you will find the whole spectrum of accommodations. Honestly, from very simple shacks, I would call them, to <laughs> top five star resorts, all inclusive. It's just, and they all next to each other. One next to the other, you know? So I, I really like that, I really like that and you have access to the full beach 
is, is, is you know so you have a seven mile beach at your doorstep but the fact that you can access the full length from anywhere that's just that's just amazing yeah absolutely amazing boys are there just watching you thank you yeah yes guys so we are passing by a yellow bird it's just there approaching let me see what we're approaching i have no idea it would be good to walk with google maps so i can point out every single place on the beach yeah i can see some gift shop further down and i'm oh i love my gift shops in jamaica as you know already so i'll probably have a look probably have a look <laughs> probably even get something i don't know but um yeah <gasps> the sea is so nice guys so so nice wow look at that yeah Now we are walking through another nice little resort. It's a rent. <laughs> I don't know what fruit that is. I don't know what fruit that is. But yeah. And then you've got boats. There's lots of boats here, guys. Apparently there is an island over there that they cook for you there. So you can take any of these to well anyway you can just go about your business or you can go to that island over there where they cook for you let me show you some more here what are we entering here someone just caught some fish over here there are people on the beach they are having fun it's a vera club an interesting fact about Seven Mile Beach is that it's actually just over four miles long in reality, which is around seven kilometers. Apparently, back in the day, the Jamaican Tourist Board added up all the beaches in Negril and advertised it as seven miles of beach in Negril. And with the Seven Mile Beach being the longest, it kept its name. The beach is lined with so many vibrant restaurants and bars, of course offering a taste of authentic Jamaican cuisine. You can grab a drink every few steps and there are plenty of gift shops along the way. Is this an Aki tree? Yeah? Hey, I know my trees. <laughs> I love it. Now, here I can see it's a grand pineapple resort beach. It doesn't look like there's much activity there. I don't know, but uh, that's what it is. Yeah. And here you've got a restaurant, what it looks like. Might be accommodation as well. I think it might be. Yeah. Let's see the boats. You see that over there? That looks like a floating platform. <laughs> I'm curious to see where the Margaritaville is and how far it is and how it actually is. So let's go. Guys, as you might already know, we are on the mission to find and review as many top ranking happy places in Jamaica as possible and share them here with you. So if you don't want to miss any of it, make sure to subscribe to the club and join us on the adventure. Guys. There's a lot of parties going on here. <laughs> awesome. 
This one is called Woodstock. And the cool part is it has a little inflatable they can jump off in the middle. Yeah. You see some people are kayaking. The root bamboo uh, stage. I wonder what's happening there. It says Roots Rock Reggae the Messenger. Right. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, hi, 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 good afternoon. I'm not hi. dangerous, I'm Patrick. What's no, your name? No, I'm Natalka. Natalka? Yes. Okay, and your husband? Captain. Captain? Yes. Back first time here? Okay, photo with me on the board. Yes. Jamaica, no problem. You're right at Old Bamboo on the seven mile beach. This is my friend, Captain. Right on the seven mile beach. You show love, respect. Yeah, man. I love it. Thank I you. I like you, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Support the thing, same. Respect that. Yeah, man. All right. Thank you. Yes. Red for the blood. Yes. Yellow the sun. Green the plantation. Black. One people, one love. Okay. Remember the color? I will do. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Are you happy? Of course. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I have life. So I'm happy. Yeah, man. Give the Lord thanks to see another day. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Salvation is good. Oh my God. Jamaica, no problem. Yay! I love it. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank you. Yes, right. Bye. 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 I have recently discovered that walking barefoot on sand engages more muscles than walking on hard surfaces making it free for body workout plus the sand acts as a natural exfoliant for your feet i mean it's a win-win for me um, on the spiritual level the belief is that walking barefoot connects us directly to the energy of the earth Oh, there are some paintings. I love, you know me, I love my paintings. Yeah, there are some paintings on the, on the beach. Beautiful. Yeah, I love them. Another resort over here. Rondo Village. So I'm determined to get to Margaritaville. I have no idea how far it is, um, but hey, hopefully, hopefully not too far. <laughs> yeah, you can do some kayaking here. I can see this place, a bar, a boat bar. Really cool. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, so as I'm saying guys, in the grill there is plenty of options to eat, a drink. Oh, look at this pretty cool restaurant, it has little swings, there you go. Yeah, they have a swing chairs. Oh, I think this is where the party was yesterday. It looks like it. Yeah. Waves. All oh, right, yeah, waves. As we walked down the beach, it seemed to go on forever. But I didn't mind. Moments like this always tend to put things into perspective. I mean, how easy is it to take things for granted? I'm walking on one of the world's most beautiful beaches, surrounded by this unspoiled, raw nature. But if you are not careful, you could miss it all. Some people travel to tick the boxes. They see the monument, they see the museum, just to check what's next on the agenda. Well, I can kind of relate because sometimes I get super excited and want to pack everything into my schedule. But more importantly, I like to enjoy, really enjoy those moments. Stroll without anyone rushing me, sit down and just inhale the whole experience. This is all part of my search for a happy place here in Jamaica. I need to immerse myself in the experience organically, dive into it and soak it all in. So then I can give you guys my honest review. Yeah, 
I don't know this place, but it has a nice shade. It has palm trees, lots of shade, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Look what Captain just got us. Pure sugar, natural sugar. We are really thirsty and hungry right now. Not had breakfast yet, so this is gonna do the trick. Um, yeah, bring up the sugar. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, so cute. Guys, we're still walking, yeah? It's been a while. <laughs> we already stopped and had some yeah, sugar cane. Sorry, we had some sugar cane already. But um, we're still going strong. Still going strong. Hmm. Guys, I think. Yeah, I think I'm right. We are approaching Margaritaville. You kind of could recognize it with lots of activities in the sea. Lots of activities in the sea. After working up an appetite, we reached our final destination, a restaurant by the shore, Margaritaville. And this is not just any restaurant. It's an experience. It's almost like there is a vibe specific to Margaritaville. The laid-back atmosphere and reggae tunes playing in the background create a perfect Caribbean dining experience. And honestly, there is always so much going on. There were water activities and dancing challenges. We saw a horse back riding on the beach and this guy walking with hundreds of hats, just in case you forgot yours. You can also just chill on one of the beach beds with a tropical cocktail in your hand and your toes in the sand. How cool is that? As for the food, JD really enjoyed his burger. We ordered a mixture of dishes from both the standard menu and the local cuisine menu. Captain enjoyed his red pea soup and a delicious plate of chicken. I ordered a shrimp dish and we shared a side of Kalaloo. The food was tasty but honestly the bill was quite high, something to keep in mind. Nevertheless, I think we've earned it after that long stroll on the beach. Overall, we loved the atmosphere, the food choice was great and the views, well, I think they speak for themselves. We just came back from the walk. Uh, we didn't get to do the whole seven mile. We literally just walked up to the Margaritaville and came back. Um, yeah, we got thirsty and hungry. <laughs> we didn't have any breakfast, so we stopped there and then we heard the, the thunder, so we decided to walk back just in case. Um, because it is quite a bit of walk, nice walk. Um, but when it's burning hot, when the sun is out, yeah, it's not the easiest walk. <laughs> Our walk back was um, much easier. I think now we're going to take a moment for relaxation and I'll check in once we get to the water.
In total, we walked barefoot about four kilometers both ways. This walk was definitely an adventure for the mind, body and spirit. So if you find yourself in the grill, kick off those shoes, feel the sand beneath your toes and let the good vibes guide your way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Keep exploring, smiling and walking barefoot on the sandy shores of life. Bye for now.